Good day, good day everyone and once again we're back together, uh, your favorite uncle once again with you and today we'll be looking at solving exponential equations. If you haven't subscribed, just uh, please uh, do the right thing and subscribe to our channel and of course uh, you can uh, let others know by sharing and liking and also giving your comments at the end of the lesson. All right, so I am going to start with the uh, um, exponential equations. As you know, we've already started with other parts of exponents. If you haven't watched them, please just go back and just see our lessons on introduction of exponents and so on. So today, as we start with solving exponential equations, I want to start with this first question that we have, right? Now, please remember, everything else that we've learned still remains as is, right? We said when you're looking at exponents, what you always do is you break numbers down into prime factors, right? So you try to find a, 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 um, a base that is common. Uh, if you look at this, you've got a base of 8 and a base of 4. But in this case, how can I convert that to a prime factor? A prime factor for a base, well, I know that 8 is 2 to the exponent 3, right? And we're still raising that by x. We're multiplying that by 4, but 4 uh, is 2 squared, right? Uh, so it's base 2, uh, exponent 2. And in this case, we've got x minus 2. And this will be equal to 2. I mean, uh, 1 rather, right? Now we'll come back to that because we need to solve in this case for x right so now we've got 2 exponent 3x multiplied by 2 now remember that we're raising an exponent by another exponent so in this case those will multiply and please multiply uh, all the factors uh, i mean all the terms so this will be 2 times x which will be 2x and you'll have 2 times negative 2 which is negative 4 right and now, on the right-hand side, you must make sure that you've got a base with, uh, that is exactly the same as the left-hand side. So how can you convert 1 into base 2? So remember, anything to the exponent 0 is equal to 1, right? So on the left-hand side, what do we do? We simplify, right? Just like we've been doing. If we uh, bases are the same and we're multiplying, then we simply add the exponents. So in this case, we'll have 2 uh, into... Uh, 3x plus 2x, that will give us 5x minus 4. And this is equal to 2 exponent 0. Of course, now, uh, once our bases are the same, we can drop down the exponents. So in this case, we've got, it means that 5x minus 4 is equal to 0. Please, and uh, we always uh, need to make sure that those bases are the same, right? If we don't, we're coming back to that, Okay to check what we do when bases are not the same. So 5x is equal to 4, and so we divide by 5 on both sides, and therefore we know that x will be equal to 4 over 5. All right, all right, all right. I hope that you got that. All right, let's get to the next one. Okay, quite simple. In this case, we've got 3 exponent x equal to 27. As we said, you try to make the left and the right hand side to have similar bases, right? So 3 exponent x, this is equal to, now if you think about 27, what is that? That's 3 squared. So, I mean, uh, 3 uh, cubed, rather. So if you think about it, 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 would be 27. So in this case, means that we've got 3 cubed. And once again, what do you notice? The bases are the same, right, uh, on either side. So it means we can drop down the exponent. So it means that x is equal to 3, and that is our final answer. Right, I want you to try out this one on your own, and then uh, you watch my solution. So in this case, we're going to have 3 exponent x multiplied by, remember, 9 is 3 squared, right and in this case 3 squared we're raising it by x minus 1 right and this is equal to 27 as we said that's going to be 3 uh, cubed in this case so we've got 3x 
multiply it by 3, 2x. Please remember that we are multiplying throughout, right? We're using our fall method in this case. So that's 2x and minus 2, which is equal to 3 cubed. So now, again, bases are the same. We are multiplying. In this case, what do we do to the exponent? We add to the exponent. So this is going to be 3 x plus 2x minus 2, which is equal to 3 cubed, uh, or 3 exponent 3. In this case, we've got 3 to the 3x. If we add those, minus 2, this is equal to 3 exponent 3. Once again, on, the, uh, on either side, we've got bases that are the same. So we can now drop down the exponents. So we've got 3x minus 2 is equal to 3. So in this case, we know that 3x is equal to, take that to the other side, it becomes 5. And so we divide that by 3. Um, and it means that x would be equal to 5 over 3. Right. And that is our final answer. Right. Now, we've got a fraction on the other side. Um, so in this case, what are we going to do? We want to make bases the same. So we're going to take 2 cubed. Remember, 8 is 2 cubed, right? Uh, raised to the exponent x. But how can we write 4? So in this case, it's 1 over 2 squared, right? But remember, what can we do in this case? So we've got, okay, um, yeah, let me just try and fix that. So we've got 2 uh, into 3x, which is equal to, now remember, our exponent is at the uh, denominator. So in this case, to take it to the numerator, what happens? It changes sign. So that's 2 exponent negative 2, right? So in this case, what do we have? Our bases are the same. So we can now drop down the exponent. So 3x is equal to negative 2, and we can divide by negative 2. 3, I mean, uh, by 3 on either side. So x is equal to negative 2 over 3. Right. Um, we are moving very swiftly. All right. Just making sure that you understand that. My advice is that please take this one and try to uh, do it on your own and see if you can get the answer. All right. So let's do it. So again, that's going to be 2 into exponent 2, uh, sorry, uh, to exponent 3 rather, uh, to change that 8. And this is going to be raised to the exponent x plus 1, multiplied by 2 squared, which will be raised to the x minus 1. And this will be 16. Now remember, 16 is 2 exponent 4. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2, that's 8 times 2 that's 16, so 2 raised to the exponent 4. So in this case, um, let's try and solve this. So this is going to be 2, 3x plus 3, right? So please remember, we are multiplying throughout. And multiplied by 2, that's 2x minus 2. And this will be 2x, um, I mean 2 raised to the exponent 4. Now, again... Bases are the same. We're multiplying. Okay, so we're going to just add the exponent. So this is going to be 3x plus 2x. That's 5x. That's 3 minus 2. That will give us 1. And this is equal to 2 raised to the exponent 4. So we know that 5x plus 1 is equal to 4, right? And in this case, so it means that you've got 5x. If I take the 1 to the other side, it becomes 3. And we divide by 5 on either side. And therefore, x is equal to 3 over 5. Uh, apologies for that noise. Um, yeah, I am in quite a busy area. So uh, in this case, that is how the cookie crumbles when it comes to exponential equations. We're still going to take some more difficult ones, all right, and also to show you uh, what to do when uh, the exponents are, are, or rather the bases are not the same. 
Um, so I'm going to leave it here, ladies and gents. Maybe let me just leave you one last one for you guys to do on your own. So if we've got 5 multiplied by 25, x minus 1, which is equal to 1, please let me know what your final answer is and please put it on the comments section. Otherwise, from me, your favorite uncle, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Shop shop.